What's going on everyone? Benjamin Noak with Monster Bass and I want to do a quick unboxing for you of the Midwest box for the month of September. Now I heard you smallmouth anglers want a more smallmouth specific baits so I helped pick some smallmouth specific baits that I think you guys are going to get pretty excited about. So with that said let's kind of get into this box. And the first thing you're going to notice is your regional pro series bait card. This is going to have all the MSRPs and the companies of the baits that are featured in this month's box. But on the back side of that we're running a Monster Bass unboxing challenge. If you guys want to do an unboxing like I'm doing right here, you have a shot to win $100 from Monster Bass. All you have to do is use hashtag the better box, film an unboxing, put it on YouTube. We're going to give $100 away to someone that does an awesome unboxing. You're also going to get a Monster Bass sticker. Each month we're going to give you a Monster Bass sticker to go on your tackle box, to go on your boat, your truck, wherever you want to put this thing. Monster Bass sticker looks awesome. And the first bait you're going to notice is the Savage Gear 3D Bat. Now, I know out of the package, this looks super gimmicky, right? It looks like a bat. I mean, bass don't eat bats. This is a pike bait. Guys, walking baits like this one here, or crawling baits like this one here, are taking the market by storm. Jackal recently came out with one. Mega Bass came out with the walking bait. The original one was the Head and Crazy Crawler, which I threw like 10 years ago, right? You're seeing crawling baits take over the market. And Savage came out with the 3D bat. We thought it'd be an awesome way to introduce you guys to this style of topwater right when these smallmouth and largemouth are coming up here, shallow, eating topwater baits. So go around, go out, throw the 3D bat around, and I promise you're going to get some big blow-ups on this thing. Oh. Smally, pretty decent Smally. Yeah, dude, check that out. Smallmouth on the bat. Thank you, fish. You're also going to notice the live target three and a half inch swim bait. This is perfect for those late season bluegill spawns that are going around. If you go, go out to your home body of water, you're gonna notice these honeycomb bluegill beds. Throw this around those bluegill beds and you're sure to get bit. And the next thing is, is very much so a crossover bait, smallmouth or largemouth. But I'm really going to like this bait for smallmouth this fall. When the smallmouths are grouping up shallow, feeding on bait fish, and the water gets a little dirty, dirty with this late season rain, a spinner bait is an awesome bait to reel through there and absolutely get your arm broken. Three eighths ounce Strike King spinner bait with the chartreuse and white skirt, and uh, it's going to just flat out get bit. Chartreuse is like kryptonite for smallmouth. They can't help but go up and bite it. The next thing you're going to get are your Mustad Big Bite 3 Ot hooks. And these are going to pair perfectly with one of the plastics, so I'll show you here in just a minute. Well, we'll pull out the plastics right now. The Great Lakes Series plastics are going to pair perfect with that 3 Ot hook. And the plastics in this pack are their frog style plastics. But don't be fooled, this does not have to be fished like a topwater frog. I'm actually taking this bait, rigging it on the back of a wobble head, and these legs go insane underwater. It's made of a super soft plastic. And this is actually a subsidiary company of Smart Baits. So Great Lakes Plastics is a subsidiary of Smart Baits. So it's the same Smart Baits style of plastic, that soft plastic. And it draws a lot of big bites, whether you're fishing it as a topwater frog, or whether you're fishing it as a trailer on the back of a buzz bait, or fishing it on a wobble head. It's gonna draw a lot of big bites for you. So that's the Great Lakes soft plastic. Now for you smallmouth anglers, this is something that I'm super excited about. This is the X-Zone Lures Finesse Slammer in the 309 color. So when we started talking about what kind of soft plastics we wanted in the box, especially for smallmouth fishermen, we needed to put a drop shot bait in there. This looks just like gobies. If you don't have gobies in your body of water, this looks just like the perch with the green pumpkin back, a little bit of purple and orange, and a translucent belly. This is going to crush big smallmouth this fall. Go out, throw it around on a drop shot. You can also Ned rig it if you guys are more into that, but it's just an awesome little drop shot bait that's going to smash some giant smallmouth for you guys. Now we're going to get into the Blade Runner. Now, one of my favorite ways to catch fish this time of year is on reaction style baits. And a Blade Runner is basically a swim bait with a blade underneath and it's going to draw attention for that fish to come up and eat this bait. When you have these giant pods of bait fish using a, an underspin style bait, it's going to draw attention to your bait. It's going to draw you a lot of big bites, especially like I mentioned with that 
late season rain, that blade's gonna give it a little bit of flash, a little bit of turbulence behind the bait, help those fish find that. It's gonna crush some big fish for you guys. This is three eighths ounce size. You get two swim baits with this thing. So if you go through the first one, you have another one in there. You can fish it on ponds, you can fish it on lakes, you can fish it however you fish. This is an awesome bait to cover water with, especially as we move into the fall. And now the last soft plastic bait is the Z-Man Minnows. So the minnows are a swim bait style profile and they'll be perfect replacements for the back of that underspin. Or you can rig this basically just on your favorite jig head, swim it around. It's a smaller profile. It's made with that Elastec material. So it's gonna last a long time for you guys. It's gonna catch you a ton of fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's unboxing for the Midwest of the Monster Bass Regional Pro Box. If you did, have any questions or comments, give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section below. I'll be down there responding to each and every one of us personally. Again, my name is Benjamin Noah. I'll catch you guys soon.